mixed media journal page for the Circle Journal with all the PM bells and whistles, texture, shine, gel print, sprays, tags, cordage, and silk. Hello, this is P. And I am Mariah the M. Together we are PM, PM Artist Studio. Studio. Thank you for watching. Just know the easiest way to show your support is by liking and commenting. Now, let's get started. Hey, blank page. Check blank, it out. Yeah, whoa. Some people find this very scary. <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> we don't it, usually have any blanks. Yeah, blank, 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 pages. blank pages are just a... <laughs> yeah. It's like flat surfaces. <laughs> <laughs> They're hard to find. <laughs> they are. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, the sprays. One of our kind of go-to things, of course, I think I used about three or four different brands from iZinc, Mr. Huey's, some kind of probably weird mix of our own, the tum tumbled glass, which I think also has been altered a bit. Perhaps. And then, you know, whatever's left over on the sponges because it gets reactivated, so, you know, it makes things interesting. We don't always know what's there. We don't always know. There, there are things no. embedded. Yeah, the funny thing is, is that um, you will see this towards the end of the video. I, I didn't quite work it in at the beginning, or the, the beginning of the journal, that is. This is some very wonderful wax dyed paper, or dyed wax paper, it's from our friend over at uh, Sirius Hecka Body Mind Spirit Store. You can buy that stuff there when she has it. We also did our texture paste on it, and that was the Rocks Blip Blop. I'll put a tech. I, I I will put a link below. Right. I call it Petri dish. She calls it Petri dish. It is bl uh, Rocks Blip Blop in, in the store because <laughs> the rock was the the inspiration. It was. I came back in with a little bit of Lindy's. I see that of the peachy tone. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Using some complimentary colors there. Well, see, it came out, and, and this was just brayer off. And I don't know if you noticed there in the beginning to show the back side of it. It comes up a couple times, so no worries. This was brayer off, and then you came back in with the <gasps> crazy oh, gold yeah, and did yeah, your, yeah. you know, scripty, what do you call that stuff? A semic writing. A semic writing. That's right. I can never remember that. It's almost like saying see an enemy. Well, I, I didn't even know what it was called for a long time. Yeah. I just called it scribble writing. Scribble writing. No, yeah, that's fake writing. And that was, oh, see, look. Yeah, there's the other side. <laughs> and we were a little scared about what was going to happen if I added any other stuff. But we figured there was enough acrylic paint on there to seal in. And plus, that other side had been sealed, I think, in anticipation or in... You know, to, to kind of save ourselves from our future selves. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember exactly. I may yeah. have just been cleaning. A lot of times I just take my brush and oh, that's true. clean it off so that I don't, it doesn't go down the sink. Yeah, it's kind of like I, I've got some Mod Podge here. Um, um, I'll just put it on this. <laughs> there, this is available. Here we go. Seal that baby up. <laughs> and then um, you see us passing back and forth the little taggy things because P is running the new stencil one of her favorite new stencils the texture paste on top of it that will match some things coming up here on the other deal i have found especially with any of these tags like so if you're using like junk mail or whatever kind of one of the better things to do is just wrap i used to like paint these and get them all gessoed and remember that no i remember those days <laughs> i remember those days i don't bother with that much anymore <laughs> Extra added step. It is. Now I just wrap it with something and then move along. Cover it up. Yeah, because I, I, even there I was like, no, nah, that's not a problem. I'll just... That won't be... We'll yeah, it's not going to be visible here in a second anyway. I wasn't I wasn't going that route. I am very sad though. I, I'm down to like maybe four or five handful of the bookmarks. I just, oh. I really love those. They're a great little size. They're, you know, it's a nice base. It is. Not too not too heavy, not too Yeah, it's just right. It's the Goldilocks of tags. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, maybe somebody will hook us up with some more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you're dust dumpster diving or just hanging out at the local library and they have some. Uh, what's funny is I didn't end up, this is not the tag that went in the journal, but we did like a set of, oh, what, four or five? Some pink mm -hmm. ones, blue ones. And those are all paint samples from, you know, the local big box hardware store. Shall not be named. Yes. But probably visible on the tag if you watch closely. <laughs> <laughs> At least the type of paint. Yes. <clears throat> These nifty little squares, and people ask us often um, what we do with them, and they are There's great to include into a little journal page, as the, you see here. They are so great to collage onto tags and just do collages with. And the stuff in the jar there was the the blop out of the oh. iridescent very, we can't quite, mom thinks it, or P thinks that it smells like baby doll, like brand new baby doll. Yeah. <laughs> like with that plastic new, new doll smell. Almost a little bit fragrant, or like, you know, there's a fragrance. It's, it's, it's florally. It's a, it's a bit, a bit cloying. Yeah. And I noticed I, I opened the jar again, that there was just a tiny little bit around the rim. It, and it still smelled. Yeah. So, um, Helen, who's getting this journal page, that's what the smell is. <laughs> if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> but I put it on the little taggy things, and then we ended up using it on the actual journal page. So, it, and see, look at that. I mean, it really shows up in the camera, which is fantastic, because I was a little worried that it wasn't going to. But look at how shiny that is. Shiny it's stuff. pretty cool Shiny stuff, stuff, but I don't know. The smell is a little much. So if you are sensitive to strong smells, you may not like that stuff. And and I can't remember the brand. I'll link it below. It's really cool. It just it does have a smell. Yes, and when you open your thing, you need to be very careful because what happened, what Mariah was talking about, is I opened it up, used the little puncture thing, and I didn't even squeeze or anything, and it just and it shot, shot out, out like yeah. a worm. Shot out like a worm. <laughs> All over my hand. So I just scraped it off into a little jar that was handy. And, and see, hey, I didn't even mention it in the intro, but it really wouldn't be one of our journal projects if, if it didn't have some gold embroidery thread. <laughs> it's kind of one of our signature things. Oh, it's because we have a, a lot load. of it. Yes. <laughs> You couldn't buy just one skein. No. You had <laughs> to buy gold out. and silver. <laughs> and a that, case or something. Yeah, and that fluffy business, that, that was a little tricky to work with there. It just kept slipping out, so I put the a little bit of glue dot there and hold that baby down. Now, that little piece that we were kind of yammering on about it, but so that gold paper is some wonderful stuff. It, well, it can be wonderful. It can also be a real pain in the, you know, tushy because... It doesn't uh, always act the way you think it's going to with certain media because it's a kind of a there's a finish on it but it's it worked out slick. great and then that that circle we've had for ages and it I never just relocated fit anything. it yeah it was yeah. In, a, in a pile of stuff that I was looking for something else and I found oh, that. there's the stencil that's we might mm -hmm. have that in the store this week I don't know it's up to you if you want it to be available well, Are you ready for I, that to be available? I, I think it, it needs a couple of places where it's snagging up. Okay. Oh, and then you saw, so what had happened is I had actually done um, some some dabbing like this with three different colors of sprays. And we didn't wash it off or anything like that. So it was still on there. And one of the things about the Distress sprays, in particular the white, it really reactivates things. So that's why, it, I mean, it worked out perfectly. The colors were spot on for what I was doing there. So mm -hmm. that's what you see happening. And then look at how beautiful, again, that, I don't think that was the tag. That might actually be the tag. I think That's it the is. tag. Yeah. The paint swatch tag. There we go. Discussing what we're going to put on the back. Something profound, I feel sure. Do you even remember what it was? No. I don't either. It's too long ago. Yeah. See, that's what happens when we wait too long to edit our videos. <laughs> we, well, lots of water under the bridge. We, we, we go dory. <laughs> Not dormant. Dory. <laughs> Those little squares, I have a whole bunch of them over there. When I have something left on the plate, 
I just pull one of those out and it's perfect. And I love those. I was a little like hesitant to put them in there, but they just went so well. We get attached to things. It's a problem. There we go. Napkins. Blotter napkins. Blotter napkins. We don't buy napkins. We make our own. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, again, we're just little hoarders and keep all of our <laughs> off cuts and whatnot. If you are feeling inspired and you haven't liked the video yet, please do. <laughs> and comments are appreciated. Oh, comments. We love comments. I didn't feel like keeping the whole me cutting it out and look at me using the blow dryer thing. Oh, <sighs> makes pee crazy. But it, it has come in quite handy. It really does speed things up. Right. Yeah. I don't do anything that I need, you know. And then I was finding the right ceiling or whatever. Well, I know that's because you don't do finish. Yeah, she doesn't do finish work. Let's be real. Yeah, <laughs> she's I'm... the she's the art maker. <laughs> yeah, I created I created the need. If texture. if it requires assembly <laughs> or measuring or measuring, that's my job. Hand it off. Even when it's her idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I can have the idea, but it's the actual she's, <laughs> execution of such. She's a real supervisor. <laughs> and so I kind of framed this, and then it was driving me crazy, because it just, it was a little too squared off. And that's why I came back in with the distress, the picket fence, and then still it wasn't quite right. And so then came in with the little pigment, paintbrushy, you know, nail polishy looking stuff. You'll see that here in just a second because it was still just wasn't. You know, the picket fence sometimes is the most awesome, perfect thing because it is subtle. But then I needed a little depth in there as well to break up that squareness. Mm-hmm. That was bothering me. I didn't realize that you used the... Yeah. I, the Look at the color went spot on with the mm -hmm. with the gel print. Well, it's not really gel print. It was more brayer off. Yeah. It's very little printing going on. There. <laughs> a lot of rolling. Now, that was that was when P was wasting a lot of paint. <laughs> yeah, I, I, seriously. I you have not brayered off on anything. I, I did brayer off a little bit today. Did you yeah. notice? Uh -huh. I, I, I got way too much white. There was the... Titan buff. I can't remember what the quote was. Well, if you leave it up there long enough for people to raid. Well, you know, check back. Oh. Let's check out our social media. I'm sure I took a picture of the back side of it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in the... As I'll, I'll put it in the... Um, it's already been sent away. Yeah, I'll put it in the comments below. I took pictures. I always mm -hmm. take pictures. If you want to see the stills of things, you know, either check out our Instagram or our Facebook page or... Oh, I know. It's something about water. Does the ocean smell the same? Oh, yeah, that's right. Very profound. Across the... Very profound. Across the world. Yeah. <laughs> we thought it went well with the coloring. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me spending all that time just fraying that out. And that was kind of a pain. Like, you know, it's like that stuff will come apart on you when you don't want it to. But... See, there there it go. is. Look at that shiny texture. Layers. A wee bit more shine. Look at that. I even, yeah, I put a little bit of that smelly stuff on the side. Hey, you know, this is a double whammy. Yeah. I Get will. it in the mail, it smells like somebody's been yeah. spraying some smelly good stuff. Uh, hopefully, she's not opposed to that. She might have to put it in a bag of baking soda. <laughs> That's our suggestion, Helen. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. See, look. Yeah. I gave you, you a little pause. You, yeah, you can pause the video. Speed read. You can read that. Boy, she's always got comments about things. And we did mm -hmm. actually sign it. We ended up signing it up because it was like, oh, that was probably a good idea. There we are. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you haven't already. Leave us a comment. You know we love those. Please, please, please subscribe if you haven't. And guess what? Ring that bell. Thank you for watching. Bye.